a sincere expression of gratitude to our esteemed patrons for their generous monthly contributions. Sarah and Brooke, Cousin Mark and Ashling, Karen and Kate, Stephanie and Courtney, Lynn and Margie. You too can become a valued patron and unlock a realm of exclusive content by supporting our mission for as little as $3 a month. Your contributions sustain our commitment to delivering high quality content. Visit wickedwanderingspodcast.com and click on the support tab to join the ranks of our dedicated patrons. Thank you for considering this opportunity to deepen your engagement with Wicked Wanderings. Your support is paramount in enabling us to continue our journey into the realms of mystery and true crime. Can you imagine being Frankenstein and like all you want to do is just live in peace in, in the afterworld and you fucking get brought back to life? I would not be a happy kid. Like, I want to be happy either. Like, fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Hannah. And I'm Courtney. Join us as we delve into true crime, paranormal encounters, and all things spooky. Grab your flashlight and get ready to wander into the darkness with us. This is Wicked Wanderings. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Courtney. Hi, Rob. Hello. I have a very spooky, fun idea, if you both dare. In my research for Halloween, which pretty much happens all year round. um, (laughs) In our world. I came across some fun Halloween-themed trivia, and I was thinking about how we used to go to trivia night when we first became a throuple. (laughs) So I want to do Hannah versus Rob Halloween trivia Okay, for our Halloween bonus episode. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So I'm going to keep score. Okay. And there's a lot of trivia here. So everybody grab a drink. Okay. Okay. Everybody ready? Ready. Yes. Before carving pumpkins became the norm, what root vegetable did the Irish carve for Halloween instead? Potatoes. No. Cabbage. Wrong. Turnips. Uh, oh. Which is really interesting. And I didn't know that. Interesting. Okay. According to their theme song, which family is said to be creepy, kooky, mysterious, and spooky? Adam's family? Yep. Woo! One point, Hannah. Meh. Number three. Some of these are a little like... A little cringe, but it's fine. (laughs) Which of the real housewives played the role of Lindsay Wallace in the 1978 movie Halloween? Oh, um, uh, hold on. I'll be really impressed if you know this. I have no clue. Oh, really? Mm Mm-hmm. I don't know any housewife Me neither. (laughs) Don't, okay, no, don't tell me. Um, (laughs) hold on. No, it's coming to me. Hold on. (laughs) We're not going to tell you, Hannah. (laughs) Her father was in that movie, the original Halloween, right? Uh, the 1978 movie Halloween. So, yeah, I would assume so. Fuck. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, when you do it like that. Eh. All right, go ahead. Kyle Richards. Oh, never mind. <laughs> number, somebody else. number four. Maybe Rob's magazines uh, will have paid off on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Which famous family dressed up as Victoria's Secret Angels in 2018? Family Guy. What? What? I said <laughs> magazines. Think about your magazine oh. collection. Uh, the the play- no, you had one. The Playboy Playmates. Nope. Um, is it famous family? The Kiss family. No. Famous oh. family. Kardashians. Oh. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. Boo. They're gonna get a little bit better now. True or false, National Candy Corn Day is October 30th. Mm-hmm. That was yesterday. One point for Rob. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm a sore Not loser. Not a good loser. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what was the question? <laughs> How did I get that right? True or false, National Candy Corn Day is October 30th? Oh, yes. You know, that's true. Because it was yesterday. I want to take the point away because he didn't know that he answered it. Uh, I, sorry. Wow. I, didn't, I didn't realize you said true or false. Can we make a stipulation? You have to finish the question before we can answer. Sure. Okay. Yes, we can. Thank you. Um, number six. Where does the word Halloween come from? Oh, Ireland. All, that one. all Hallows Eve. Rob. Yeah, but it's Samhain. 
Yeah, but it's it comes from All Hallows Eve. Yeah, he, the evening before All Saints Day was called All Hallows Eve. Which is November 1st, which is Samhain on November 1st. I'll give you October. both a point. Thank no, you. she is not getting a point because yes, that's not I the do. answer. Relax, there's a hundred questions. The answer, <laughs> no, no. She does not get a point because the answer is All Hallows Eve. I have a that's question. That's where the word Halloween comes from. Did we feed you guys before we did this? No, oh, we God. Fed. I have made a catastrophic mistake. <laughs> I, I have made Taco a, Bell. <laughs> I've made a catastrophic mistake. I have made a catastrophic mistake. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. Number seven. What dance was allegedly a graveyard smash that caught on in a flash? Monster mash. Yeah. <laughs> Number eight. What was the first historical appearance of the vampire Count Dracula? Wait, sorry. Say that one more time. What was the first historical <laughs> appearance of the vampire <laughs> Count Dracula? Like uh, as a book? In, yes. in Rice books? Or um, Bram Stoker? Yep. Bam! Number nine. Pace to read, everybody. <laughs> Who is the main villain in the horror franchise named after this holiday? Oh, uh, Michael Myers. That's right. Get the fuck out. That's Michael Myers. Mm -hmm. Fuck that shit. <laughs> okay. I didn't know that. Number 10. Hold on. Here we go. We're never going to get through this trivia, guys. <laughs> I didn't, you, know, you know what I love about Michael Myers? First. It's like, he doesn't run anywhere. <laughs> he walks. Yeah. And he still and gets still those creepy. victims. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> I'm so sorry. That's fine. I feel like my mic doesn't sound right today. No, it sounds great. Well, honey, I feel like maybe my good. maybe there's like a head cold in my head. Well, there is. But mm. anyways, number 10. What character was unsurprisingly the most popular Halloween costume of 2023? 2023. No. Hmm. Are we talking about like Hall like like Halloween Halloween? Yeah, the Halloween costume. What character was unsurprisingly what the was most hot popular? last year? Oh, oh, no, maybe not. Tiger King? Oh, that was that was 2020. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What was hot last year? I don't know. I wouldn't have guessed this one either. Well, Rob, you get one guess. I've already gotten. I I, so. I I have no clue. Can I give a hint? Yeah. Think about like children's toys that make that came back. Mm, Furby. Barney. Barbie. Barbie. Oh, with the movie. Oh. Yeah, the Barbie movie. Oh. Yeah. Which was terrible, by the way. Oh, this one. Oh, it's gonna be a race to see who's gonna get this one. Oh but. shit. Number 11, what are the first names of the Sanderson sisters in Hocus Pocus? Oh, Mary, Winifred, and Sarah. Ding, ding. I don't think Rob would have gone. No, I had no clue. <laughs> oh, I was like, Rob's got to know this. <laughs> Number 12, how many pounds did the world's largest pumpkin pie weigh? 1,500. Uh, Higher. 2,500. Higher. 3,000. 3,699 pounds. Wow. Do I get it for being close? No. No. Oh. <laughs> Number 13. When did the first Spirit Halloween store open? <laughs> 1993. No. 1995. 1983. Ooh. Oh. So I didn't realize that they'd been around that long. I didn't mm. know either. Spirit Christmas is coming out. I don't know how I feel about yeah, that. Well, they do have a, um, a parent company. Spirit? <laughs> Who's the parent company of Spirit? Like Spencer's Gifts. Spencer's is their yeah. So Spencer's company? Gifts is the uh, the parent company. Of... That's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't know that <laughs> until this year. But yeah, they're going to be uh, doing Spirit uh, Christmas now. I'm excited for that because I'm not. I want to just see what they have. <laughs> well, but I didn't. So I didn't get to go to Spirit Halloween this year. Mm. It should be year round. What were you going to get at Spirit Halloween? I just like to look at spooky things and it'd be normal for once a year okay well it's normal all the time and we're going to that weird fair thing soon. convention yeah. yes in a couple weekends it's on our calendar i'm mm. so excited in rhode island so <laughs> number 14 which famous person died on halloween audrey hepburn harry houdini aretha franklin or edgar Allan poe houdini oh, houdini is right who's winning right now you are by one point oh my god okay number 15 what was the writer for the film Child's Play inspired by to create the character Chucky? Sorry, say it one more time. What was the writer for the film Child's Play inspired by to create the char character Chucky? Poe? His sister's doll. It was a, a Cabbage Patch Kid. I'm going to give it to Rob. Seriously? Yeah, I gave one to I you. I thought you said what writer it was inspired. What was the writer for the film Child's Play inspired by? Oh. He was inspired by a Cabbage Kid. 
That was his sister's. Cabbage fat kid. He Num- can't know more. Okay, this is my thing. Hannah, I never realized that you were such a sore loser. <laughs> I, am, I am. I really am. I'm Especially- regretting this, guys. I thought it was going to be cute. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fun. fine. <laughs> Let's do it. It's fine. Number 16. The Halloween tradition of bobbing for apples stemmed from a courting ritual. True or false? True. False. It's true. Oh. Uh, one version of the ritual was as follows. Girls, Why you gotta flip me off? I, I, I didn't flip you off. Guys! I didn't flip them off. so mean to me when she starts drinking. <laughs> that is not true. <laughs> well, it's true, but that's not what I'm doing. Any who's. One version of the ritual was as follows. Girls would mark their names on their respective apple before dropping them into barrels of water. Mm. Potential suitors would bob for their apples, and picking the name of a girl would indicate the possibility of their future relationship. Have you ever tried it? No. Have you ever tried bobbing for apples? As a child, yes. It's very difficult. So between mozzarella sticks and bobbing for apples, that's pretty traumatizing childhood. I mean, the apples weren't really that traumatizing. The mozzarella stick, however. Uh, Sally, if you're listening, so sorry about all the shit I've said about you. It's something we're going to have to go to therapy for. I can't wait to meet Sally, I'm saying. Oh, dear goodness. I don't Cheers to Sally. Cheers, Sally. Cheers to Sally. Cheers, you're out Sally. there drinking somewhere. <laughs> oh, number 17. Why are black cats associated with Halloween? Because it's bad luck. No. Hmm. I'm sure it's some historical thing. That's what I would have guessed, too. I didn't realize that this was... I mean, it makes sense, but... I don't know. In medieval Europe, it was believed that devils and witches could disguise as black cats. Mm. It always comes back to them witches. Mm. Them witches. And the teat. And the teat. <laughs> oh, my God, the teat. <laughs> Number 18. Halloween celebrations span three days in Spain. True or false? False. True. It's true. Damn it. <laughs> Number 19. What is the name of the gothic novel about a scientist who creates a monster? Frankenstein. Frankenstein. Number 20. When was the first citywide Halloween celebration held in the U.S.? Ooh. 1922. So close. 21. Really? Oh, oh, damn. Yeah, nice job, Anoka, babe. Minnesota. Minnesota of all places? Mm-hmm. I mean, it's pretty close to Canada, which it came from, so okay. Halloween originated in Ireland. True or false? True. I'll give it to both of you. Woo! <laughs> Jack-o'-lanterns used to be made from onions. True or false? False. True. It's false. We just talked about this. <laughs> Turnips. That's right. <laughs> onions. Really? Could you imagine? Ogres are like onions. <laughs> I saw Princess Fiona on my drive over here. Where? Really? She was missing her Shrek, though. Aww. And I wanted to roll the window down and yell, that's a nice boulder. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't. <laughs> I love that so much. Uh, why did trick-or-treating gain traction in the 1930s in America? Oh, because of the um, Depression. No. no. I mean, th- that was part of it. But if Anna can give me a better part of it, I'll give it to her. Mm. This one's interesting. So it, it gained traction so they would... S- <laughs> Stop doing the trick part. You know, that's exactly it. To curb pranking. Yeah. Uh, Apparently, pranking became the preferred practice on Halloween among young people in the 1920s, but it became dangerous during the Great Depression, devolving into vandalism and violence. So to prevent pranking or worse in communities, the organized activity of trick-or-treating was encouraged. Which animal will shelters not allow people to adopt on Halloween? So, oh, cats? What? Wait, what? Say it one more time. Sorry. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Which animal will shelters not allow people to adopt on Halloween? Dogs. Cats. Black cats. Oh. In the late 1980s, a woman in Chicago adopted a black cat as part of her Halloween costume, and days later, the animal was found dead. So in the years that followed, it became policy for shelters to refuse black cat adoptions on Halloween to prevent ritual sacrifices of black cats. <laughs> Perfect <you>, advice. <laughs> Where can you be fined for using silly string on Halloween? New York City. No, but I would expect that there too. What, are we talking about a state or a city? City. Chicago. Hollywood. Ah. If you use silly string on Halloween in Hollywood Wanderers, you could receive up to a $1,000 fine. So keep that silly string just probably out of California. Number 26. Approximately how many years does Halloween date back? How many Two, years? It's, um, I was going to say 2000. 2000 is correct. Yeah. Fuck you. Sorry, I'm a sore loser. <laughs> the Scottish term for dressing up on Halloween is guising. True or false? False. False. True. Ah! 
Number 28, the word Halloween means what? Um, oh, Hallow's Eve. <laughs> no. What does it mean, Hannah? Say, say the question one more time, please. The word Halloween means what? It is the time for things to die. <laughs> <laughs> Saints <laughs> evening. Mm. Number 29, true or false? The night before Halloween has different names depending on where you live. True. true. That's true. Cabbage the, night in New England. The night before Halloween is called mischief night around New Jersey and Pennsylvania, while it's called devil's night in Michigan. Other true. names on this day include lamb's wool, <laughs> snap apple night, and summer's end. Mm, cabbage least, night here in New England. Right. Number 30. What is the most popular Halloween costume for pets? Ooh, oh, probably the hot dog. What did you say? Ghost. No. Hot dog. It is pumpkin. Oh, hmm. We did put a pumpkin head on Kenzie one it's year. It's funny because the picture is a picture of a dog. With That's what we did. It's supposed to be a pumpkin, but it looks like a shit. That we it did. Supposed to Kenzie be. hated it. <laughs> That's exactly what we did. Like, That's funny. You guys. <laughs> you guys were cliche that one time. <laughs> Number 31. Which U.S. state produces the most pumpkins? Ooh, oh. Connecticut. No. Um, it's not around here. Oh. Kansas. Illinois. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. It's Illinois. kind of random. What is the record for most lit jack-o'-lanterns on display? It's the number they're looking for. 2,000. Way more. Oh. Oh, 5,000. Way more. 30,581. 30, yeah, According no to Guinness World Records, Keene, New Hampshire flaunted the most lit Keen. jack-o'-lanterns on display. Okay. Specifically on October 19th, 2013. Okay, wow. Keen, we see you. Halloween originated from an ancient blank festival. A harvest. No. A blank, uh, blank. I'm saying. No, I was like, is that like when you put question mark when you were dictating into your phone? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's a good question. Celtic. Cow. Oh, but it was a harvest festival. It was a Celtic festival. But it was harvesting. We're on 34 of 100, sweetie. It's going to be okay. 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 <laughs> World War II caused sugar rationing, which put a halt to trick-or-treating for how many years? Three. Mm, seven. Five. Uh. The rationing existed from 1942 to 1947. Mm. Fuck World War II, man. Mm. The fear of Halloween is known as semanophobia. True or false? false? True. True. You know, Rob, I you're sleeping on the couch tonight. <laughs> Trick-or-treating has existed over since the medieval times. True or false? True. Because we said 2000. <laughs> a city in Canada banned kids older than 16 from trick-or-treating. True. 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 Uh, it was Bathurst, New Brunswick banned kids older than 16 from trick-or-treating as an attempt to decrease Halloween mischief. That's so sad. Where is the biggest Halloween parade in the U.S. throne? Oh, mm. Salem. Mass. No. Damn it. New York really? City. And is in New York. There are typically over <sighs> five or 50,000 participants in the village Halloween no parade. No way. It happens in the evening on Halloween night. It's free for anyone to march in the parade, but costumes are mandatory, of course. Mm. There is also always a fun theme for each year's parade. In 2023, the theme is upside down, inside out. Fun. <sighs> Which celebrity is known for throwing epic Halloween parties? I would have never guessed this one. Which what? Celebrity is known for throwing epic Halloween parties. I don't know. I have no idea. Heidi Klum. Who? Heidi Klum? Yeah. Who the fuck cares about oh, that? Oh, you said Heidi Klum. Klum. I have a fucking cold, Rob. Is it, <laughs> isn't it Klum? I don't fucking know. <laughs> isn't she married to, to that guy that's a boxer? The black guy? I don't know. Mike Tyson? Yeah. <laughs> uh, number 40. Jack-o'-lanterns are literally named after a guy named Jack. True Sh or false? True. According to a 17th century Irish legend, Stingy Jack was a cranky old man who tricked the devil into doing a number of things. When Jack died as punishment for his trickery, the devil sent him into the night with only a burning coal, which Jack put into a carved out turnip to light his path. Uh. He has been roaming the earth ever since. When are we going to have to sleepy hollow shit? That's, that's my game. I don't know. Bam, bam. Because we'll I'm a Van see. Tassel, everyone, just so you know. <laughs> the color you're a Fitzpatrick now. <laughs> I'm just watching you arrange your titties while you're doing, <laughs> like, hey, what's happening here? Listen, I didn't want to put a bra on today. I'll admit it. <laughs> oh, boy. Fuck the bras. Oh, man. The Wanderers, it's getting weird over I here. I just want to free my titties. I just want to be free. That's a song. Okay. Anyways, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Number 41. The color orange stands for harvest, and the color black signifies death. True or false? True. True. Where'd that pad of paper come from? I'm just curious. Underneath there. Oh, okay. 
A pumpkin is a fruit. True or false? True. False. It's true. Why you gotta flip me off? I didn't flip you off on a chunk mount. Although many people may believe pumpkins to be vegetables, they're actually in the fruit family. The difference between a fruit and a vegetable is based on how they grow. A fruit relies on pollination of the flower, and the flower typically grows into the part that we eat, as is the case with pumpkins. You know, he doesn't really like Halloween. I love things. Halloween. He just he just tries to be cool, okay? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Why did Danny leave the salt circle in the cemetery in Hocus Pocus? Because he tried to save his sister. No. Or tried to save the book. The book. It was about the book. Mm, okay. Nope. He was trying to save his parents. No. 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 It was... Okay. So he was... So Who was he, he helping? So he was... So there was a soul oh, circle around cat. his sister. No. It had nothing to do with the book? No. Oh, the girl. No. The girl. What's the answer? To help Billy. Billy really? was the cat. No. no, Billy was the dead guy. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, because yes, yes, yes. he built the salt circle around his sister in the cemetery. Right. And he went to go help Billy. He did? Mm. Yes. Oh, man. What happens if Marnie doesn't begin her training by midnight of her 13th Halloween in Halloween Town? She can't be a witch. Yeah. <laughs> She'll lose her powers forever. Yeah. I love Halloween Town. How long were Adam and Barbara waiting to speak to Juno and Beetlejuice? <laughs> Days. No. Hours. No. Years. No. Three months. Three months. <laughs> mm. Skipped over right over months. <laughs> well, days is months. No. <laughs> what is the name of the song Debbie plays for Fester right after they get married in Adam's family values? Say it one more time. What is the name of the song Debbie plays for Fester right after they get married in Adam's family values? Mm. Wow, that's. I would have never guessed this one. I don't know. I don't know. The Adam's family. Number 438. I went on got that. No. What is the name of the island the gang goes to in the 2002 Scooby Doo movie? Halloween Island. Where no. Are you? Bermuda. Spooky Island. Oh, oh of that course. Was close. <laughs> what was the number on the police car that announces Jack has been shot down in the Nightmare Before Christmas? Oh, you watched six, six, it. Six. Six. Nope. 69. 35. 35. Number 49. In the Nightmare Before Christmas, which holiday is not one of the doors that appears in the forest? Oh. oh. There's right. Valentine's. There's St. Patrick's Day. There's Thanksgiving. There's Easter. There's Easter. Thanksgiving. July 4th? No. Halloween? No. Hold New on. New Year's? Nope. Um, oh my gosh. President's Day? No, no. Rob. Stop talking. Hey, I'm this sorry. Is I'm trivia. sorry. I'm sorry. I'm trying to think. We should have like, fed you first. I'm sorry. <laughs> if yes. I had known she didn't eat, I wouldn't have done trivia. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um... Martin Luther King. No. No, let's not. No. What's a major holiday? Labor Day, Veterans Day, Rob's birthday. No, that's most not important. I don't know. <laughs> April Fool's Day. Oh. Oh, I never would have gotten that. Yeah. What was the name of the lobster that was picked from the tank in Hocus Pocus? <laughs> Frank? I don't know. Angelo. <laughs> Angelo. <laughs> Those are the funniest part. What was the last ingredient the Sanderson witches added to their cauldron in Hocus Pocus? Salt. No, it was um, sweat. Tongue. Tongue. Uh. What card did Pugsley offer Joel and trade for his Debbie card in Adam's Family Values? I don't, I don't know. know. Amy I Fisher. Know. Yeah, I wouldn't know that. Uh, the three witches in Hocus Pocus are Winnie, Mary, and who? Winnie, Mary, and Sarah. Didn't we already do that? It was yeah. different wording. How many times has Beetle... Beetlejuice? Betelgeuse seen the exorcist in Beetlejuice? I don't know. 167. Oh, I don't want to go back. <clears throat> um, ooh, what other Halloween film features a snake inspired by the snake from Beetlejuice? Harry Potter? This is a good one. That is a good one. Say the question again. What other Halloween film features a snake inspired by the snake from Beetlejuice? Is it oh. Halloween Town? No. No. The Sanderson sisters. No, it's not Hocus Pocus. Um, I don't know. Hold, hold on. She doesn't know. Shut up. Because <laughs> I see the snake in my head. I see it too. Is it Beetlejuice too? No. What's the answer? Are you done, Hannah? No. Wednesday? No. All right, go ahead. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh. 
Is he in the when they go to the town town hall? That's right. I don't know. They don't have a picture of it. No. What was the name of the broom Marnie buys in Halloween Town? It's the five thousand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Windsweeper five thousand. <laughs> Thank you. In the Nightmare Before Christmas, what is Zero's nose? Oh, it's a pumpkin. Mm-hmm. Bam. What animal did Wednesday and Pugsley bury at the beginning of Adam's Family Values? A scorpion. A dog. It was a cat. I thought it was a scorpion. The ending we have now of The Shining isn't the original ending. Touche. True. 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 Yes. False. It's true. In Hotel Transylvania, what color is Frankenstein? Purple. No, but close. Orange? Blue. <laughs> what book was Joel trying to read in Adam's Family Values? Bible. Um, The Shining. <laughs> a brief history of time. <laughs> no, I don't remember. What is the shape of the mayor's bow tie in The Nightmare Before Christmas? Oh, it, it's uh, two bones. No. Triangle. I don't think, I know, honestly. A spider. <laughs> I'm scrolling yeah. through and picking out different ones. <laughs> oh. Why can't the Sanderson sisters follow the kids into the cemetery in Hocus Pocus? Oh, because it's hollow ground. Yep. What is Ice's real name in Hocus Pocus? Who's? Ice. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Fred. No. no. Ernie. 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 That's right. That's close. My name's Ice now. <laughs> Ooh, this is a really interesting one. How much will people spend on an on average on haunted house attractions? Thirty dollars. They're looking for like how, for the whole season. Everybody's total. Oh, three oh. hundred. Three billion. Three hundred million. Three hundred million. Really? Mm-hmm. No. Wait for me. What is the name of the cab company that Benny works for in Halloween Town? <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> Taxi City. No. No. <laughs> once, once a cab or something. Psychic cab. Ah. Uh. Candy corn was originally made by hand. True or false? True. True. Correct. I should only get that one because you came after me. So. What was the first present Jack gave out as Santa in the Nightmare Before Christmas? Mm. First present? Basketball. No. no. Just remember who like, showed you that movie. It was a decapitated doll or something. It was a shrunken head. Ah. Uh, Do I get that one? Sweet. Yeah, I said that. Um, let's see. So my parents didn't believe in... Well, it's a whole other story. Never mind. Where did the vampires look for Jack Skellington in Nightmare Before Christmas? Oh, the cemetery. No. The well? Behind the Cyclops' eye. Oh. It's like oh. listening to that, that wording that they use is, is yeah. key. Yeah. Snickers are the most popular candy in the U.S. True or false? False. False. Correct. It's Reese's, piece, uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. It sure is. What was candy corn originally called? Candy corn? Mm-hmm. Disgusting. It is that, but no. <laughs> I love candy corn. Thank you very much. I don't know. I didn't know this one either. It was chicken feed. Oh, oh yeah, that, uh, okay. Yeah. A couple more here. How many ingredients are in a Butterfinger bar? Three. Three. Nineteen. Oh, Damn. Really? Nineteen seems like a lot. Think about what you're eating, Wanderers. Ew. Uh, okay, last one. High fructose corn syrup. <laughs> Why does candy corn have its corn shape? Because if you stack them up, they look like uh, corn. No, that's true. But no. Why? What? Really? That is why they have their corn shape. Because they're they're based on I'll corn. You, I'll give you that. It wasn't the answer they were looking for, but I'll give it to you. Okay. Rob. I'll give that one to you. Shall I total up our totals? <sighs> Fine. I got to do math wonders. Okay. Well, what was the answer? It was something about the 1880s and shaping things. <laughs> Do, do we need some uh, some waiting music? No. Do, 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 All right. Do, 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 do. Who do you think won? The winner 
by five points. Oh. By five points. <laughs> Hannah. Hannah. <laughs> Hannah Fitzpatrick. The winner of Halloween, everybody. <laughs> I mean, as it should be. <laughs> 24 to Rob's 19. <laughs> Honey, I, I'm really surprised, though, with how much you didn't know. So that was Yeah, great. 19 was pretty good. I mean... I had a couple other little things I had the found. Shining. Oh my god, I love the shining. I'm sad there was only one question about the fucking shining. There should be more. But now Well, we like, didn't do all one hundred questions. No, because a lot of them didn't make any sense. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah. I had one that I thought was interesting. That a fact that I came across when I was researching that husband hunting was once a Halloween tradition. Ooh, like girls going out looking for their new husband. Back in the 18th century, Halloween was about tricks in more ways than one. At this time, people took too many took too many peculiar methods to rewrite their real Halloween horror story. Being single in the fall. These tactful techniques included lighting candles in front of a mirror in a dark room to conjure up the fact of a future lover and even tossing apple peels over their shoulders to form an initial upon landing. Ooh. Witchcraft. Mm. <laughs> Witchcraft. <laughs> um, most of the other ones that I had found, we had kind of already figured out from That'd our trivia. I did think it was also interesting that a full moon only brightens the sky once every 19 Halloweens. Oh. That was kind of interesting. Ooh. Yeah. Full moon on Halloween is mm. pretty rare. There's does a it say when the next one is? Um, let's see. It does not. When is the next full moon on a Halloween? The moon will appear full from everywhere on Earth on October 31st. This is from NASA.gov. Oh, God, uh, is it this year? Oh, my God. Yeah, is it this year? Putnam's. No, it was 2020. Where did you get this? Witchcraft. Fucking Putnam's. Fucking All right, Courtney, is, uh... Is that it for tonight? Yeah, I figured some trivia, a little bit of Halloween. We got to feed Hannah. That's becoming abundantly clear. Yes. Do we want to read a card or save it for next time? Let's save one for next time. Okay. Thank you, Wanderers, for joining us on this Halloween, for tolerating us as always. Yes. I hope you guys are all doing something super cool, super spooky, uh, but also super safe because that's important too. Yes. And remember, we recorded this on Halloween. It's a couple weeks ago. Uh, the time you're listening to this but it's still spooky season even though we've probably already put up our Christmas tree spooky sp season is a mindset and Hannah and I participate in it all year long Absolutely. it's spooky season always always yes. so thanks for listening bye wanderers bye wanderers till next time like and subscribe thanks for listening today wicked wanderings is hosted by me Hannah and co-hosted by me Courtney and it's produced by Rob Fitzpatrick Music by Sasha N. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to leave a rating and review and be sure to follow on all socials. You can find the links down in the show notes. If you're looking for some really cozy t-shirts or hoodies, head over to the merch store. Thank you for being a part of the Wicked Wanderings community. We appreciate every one of you. Stay curious, keep exploring, and always remember to keep on wandering. Hey there, beer lovers. I'm Rob Fitz, host of Beers That Fits, the podcast that takes you behind the scenes of the craft beer world. Every Thursday, I sit down with passionate owners and brewmasters of your favorite breweries to uncover their stories, inspiration, and brewing secrets. Whether you're a seasoned beer connoisseur or just starting your craft beer journey, we've got something for everyone. So grab a pint, tune in, and let's toast to great beers and even better stories. Slanja. Find us wherever you get your podcasts.